All right, guys, well, this video is probably gonna consist of two hunts that I've done. I just haven't had enough film and footage, and I haven't found enough targets in, in uh, the last hunt to make a video. So I'll add those few clips in as well, just a couple of coins, and uh, hope you enjoy this video. G'day everyone, Chris here, Indoors Outdoors with Edgy. Now I'm going on a bit of a beach hunt this morning. Um, I'm going to a bit of a remote beach. I'm trying to find it. I've got it on Google Earth, but I'm not sure if you can access it, um, whether or not it's at the back of a private property. I do see a road, a dirt, dirt track in, into the beach, but we'll see how we go. I haven't made a video for a little while. Um, I've been pretty busy at home, setting up a gym at home and doing a few other things um, and also working as well. So I haven't had much time. Although I did, I did get out yesterday, just didn't find anything and the tides were wrong and so forth. So it is low tide in about, uh, right about now I reckon, the beach I'm going to. So it's about 20 minute, 20 minute drive. So we'll get down there, see if we can find it. All right, guys, well, I did find that beach and it is actually on private property. So I may even try to ask the owner whether or not I can access the back of his property because I know there's a road that goes to that beach. It's only a small beach, but there is a beach there. Anyway, I've just come to the local beach. Tide is low, so I'm going to get on the sand. We'll see if we can find any treasures. All right, so here we are down at the beach. I'll just walk down here. As you can see, she's tides way out. The water comes right up, eh? So you've got a bit big movement at this place. This is an ocean side beach. You've got a couple of metres movement here. But anyway, I might actually head towards the jetty there. Go on the other side, maybe go up around the point. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Let's get hunting. Right guys, so just on the water line here, got a first signal down here, and uh, it was a 17, still a 17 here, I forgot to, I forgot how st stinky this mud is, it smells like crap, now the water's coming in. Something right here. It's probably a sinker. Oh no. She's a bit of trash. Just a bit of silver trash. Cancel all. Okay, next signal was down here. Took out one scoop. It's another dodgy signal. Another dodgy signal. She's gonna be. Bit of junk. Bugger. Not sure what that would be. Try and rinse it off. Just more aluminium. More junk. More crap. Okay guys, we've got a signal down here. 2932, 2932. Keep in mind there's a lot of junk on this beach. A lot of crap and brass, big, big brass pieces and so forth and wire. So I don't have, come from this side, 33. It's a good sound, but I still reckon it's gonna be, mate. Oh yeah, I can feel it. So it's a big chunk of crap. I can see it. What the hell is that? Oh, shit. Holy moly, that's a phone. That's a phone. Who are we? Huey. Mobile phone. 
Oh, I'll be stuffed. That rang up different. That's good. Maybe I'll go down and wash it off. Well, that's interesting. We got a phone. Hawaii. It's not pronounced like that though. Pretty sure it's something different, but oh, that's interesting. It's not old, obviously. That's pretty cool. First phone I found that's actually in condition. She won't be working though. But anyway, <laughs> that's pretty cool. We'll check that out when we get home, guys. All oh, right, next signal. Got a 32, 31. See if I can dig that. Could be a bit of brass. Oh yeah, it is just a bit of metal. Just a bit of metal. So, well, oh, she's shiny. Bit of steel, maybe stainless. Bit of stainless steel. I'll see if I can wash that off. Could be. Uh, could actually be something broken off a off a bit of cutlery or something definitely pretty thick but anyway oh is that something no could be something uh, off a pot um, because this is a quite a historic beach and it had, has had a lot of workings back in the late 1800s 1900s it was a working jetty working beach so it's got a ton of history here which is pretty good it's just said it's all black mud hard and and really packed sand so it's really a bit muddy and stinky to dig in but anyway that's interesting big chunk of metal off something probably a pot all right guys so next target i've picked out is one of these it just looks like some lead mesh now i have actually found one of these before in the same beach if anyone knows what that would be used for it this one looked like it had cloth on it but whether it's a filter thing for something to filter out stuff I don't know but it's very pliable so it's pretty much I think it's lead anyway we'll chuck that in the pouch and we'll move on all right next signal it was a bit dodgy but I did find it someone's butter knife huh. try and straighten that up there we are. How many utensils I find? Jeepers creepers. Okay, so next next target I had down here was a 10. And it is a little looks like a rivet or something. Maybe it popped off the jeans of the person who had that foot knife eating their dinner. Maybe they ate too much. Anyway, interesting. Alright, just got a 1516 and that's it. Looks like top of a pen. Weird stuff you find on this beach, I tell you. All right, guys. So I've done a little bit on the rocks. Not much luck in there. I'm just going to go up, probably another 20 meters to this corner here, and uh, then I'll turn around and head back out. So I probably got about 300 meters back to the car, three, four hundred meters. So I'll just scan along the way. But I did get a signal down here, and um, it was a 20. 23, uh, it's jumping all around now. So, oops, better plug this in properly. Okay, let's see if. Probably uh, doesn't look real crash hot. It's like a bit of. I don't know, just something broken off. Might be a bit of brass piping or something's broken. So 
something. Anyway, that's it. Bit of rubbish. <coughs> All right, we'll have a quick, quick walk up here, and then we'll head home. All right, so I had a signal down here, which was a 12. I just pulled it out. Fishing lure. Huh. Oh, fishing lure. Oh, she's got some spikes on it. Now I did get a signal down here, it was an 18, and I did, um, it's got a bit of a low tone, but I did find it, it is a coin. So I'm not too sure what that could be, it could be maybe just a crusty dollar coin. But, anyway, that's interesting. Oh yeah, you can see the gold here. So, that's probably going to be, oh, dropped it. Probably going to be a dollar coin, guys, I think. No! Nope. Right there. You can see the gold coming through. Anyway, we'll clean it up when we get home and confirm. Alright guys, well, I was just walking on the beach and I thought I might just go and get my digging tool. This thing, just because there is a few rocks down here. And uh, I was just coming back from the car. The car's over there. And I was just, I had my detector on and it, it beeped here. Had a nice 21, 22. And there's actually a bloody dollar coin. Just on the side of the bloody track here before I even got back to the beach. So there we go. Alright guys, so next signal was a really sketchy jumping from 11 to 16, 17, blah blah blah. I did actually just find it. Just a rotten key. Hmm. 21, 22. It is a gold coin. Good beauty. One over one dollar. Yep. Alright. Oh, Got another signal down here. It's a 40. 39.40. Huh. That's interesting. Two hours later. Oh, I can feel something. Oh, crap. I can see something. Can you guys see that? Right here. So it is something metal. It's probably a fence post or something. Oh, shivers. Ugh. Holy crap. Big chunk of aluminium, that's for sure. And there we have it. 40. Don't see many 40s on the detector. Got to have a lot of material maybe. Or a lot of silver. A lot of silvers ring up pretty high but this is just a big chunk of crap. Big chunk of poop. Anyway, chuck that in the bag and take it home. Alright, well I'm still walking out guys. But I keep getting signals. 25, 27, pretty sure that's it. That's it here, a bit of rubbish. Oh, it's a lid off the shoe polish. Shoe polish. Bam. Alright, so I've probably got about 30, 20 metres to walk. I'm just going to do this. Looks like there's a fair bit of um, movement in the sand here, so I'm just going to walk along this edge. And I have found a signal down here. 23, 24. It's three bars down, so not quite to China. But we'll see. Oh, that can't be right. Oh, I found it. Holy moly. Right, uh, let's check it out. Let's see what sort of rubbish this is. 23, 24. Be a sinker, most probably. Oh no, it looks like a coin. Looks like a coin down here. It is a coin. A little crusty ducky. Little crusty bastard. See if I can. Yeah. 
my guess is 23, 24, be a one cent coin. But anyway, we'll get it home and check it out. Rightio guys, well, I finished the hunt um, down at this beach. It's an older, older beach. It's got a lot, had a lot of workings on it, so I think there's, that's why there's a lot of trash and crap. We did find a phone, so we'll get home. We'll check out what I got. Okay, guys, I made it home from the hunt today. Bit of a different hunt. I've uh, got a few different uh, items. Um, so let's check it out and see what I got. Oi, Buster, what are you doing? What are you doing, dog? All right, guys, this is what we got. So all in all, an interesting um, bit of a hunt. So on the left, we've got all our trashy stuff, a few cans, bits of metal. This metal rang up really high, like in the 30s, I think. So it must be some sort of interesting metal. Um, did get a pull tab and a couple of bits of junk. Um, bits of metal, all the metal stuff, little little bits and bobs. Um, bolts, you can see that's a bolt, a thread on it. Probably a bit of wire. Um, something that broke off a, off, off something, it's just a corner of it's broken. And another screw there. And just some more metal. So we got all that sort of junk. Did find a lure. And we got this bit of uh, this little rebar, I think. Just it's in concrete. That's steel. But this one here, I've found one of these before too. This is actually lead. Because you can you can bend it so easily. I'm pretty sure that's lead. It's like a net. It's just uh, obviously stops, stops something getting through. But I have found one of them before at that same beach. We did find a tin of uh, shoe polish. Dark tan, Ooh. and I did find this bloody big thing, probably off a pipe, and then we did get a key, or the remnants of a key, um, that was at the first hunt I did, um, we got a little, little button off a piece of clothing obviously, and I did get the tip of a pen, pretty sure that is, and a sinker, one sinker. Thought we'd get more than one sinker, but one sinker. And this thing, whew, she rang up in the 40, 39, 40, this thing. So a bit of aluminium or something. Anyway, that's uh, that was a good signal. And we found a knife, a little butter knife. And now we found a couple of gold coins on the first hunt. And we found these two crusty ones on today's hunt. And I don't know what this one is because it's a lot smaller than the dollar coin. So I have a feeling, see it's not quite the same size, I have a feeling it's a foreign currency, but it's definitely gold, you can see some gold in there. So anyway, I'm going to clean these two up and see what they are, and I'll show you what they are. And then we found this, it's one of these Hawaii, Hawaii phones, looks pretty good actually, like I don't know if it's got water in it, but... I might try and dry it out and see if she'll turn on. Might be able to get it back to the owner. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty interesting. First time I've found a decent phone that hasn't been busted. And that's it. That's it, guys. That's uh, that's the spoils from today's hunt. But um, whatever those two coins are, I will show you. And we'll check out what they are. And this is how we clean the coins, guys. Alright, guys. So, this is what these two coins cleaned up like. Now, this one here is a one cent coin. Even though she's a bit toasted, but it's definitely a one cent. You can see the queen's head on it. And flip it over. And there, there is a one there. I can see it. This one here, I, I have no idea what it is. Uh, it seems to have some sort of picture on it, whether it be a house, it might be a Middle Eastern foreign currency, it might be Middle Eastern letters on the out, around the outside, it is quite worn, but there is like a church or a high tipped house right at the top of the centre there now I think, and there is a picture, there is a picture maybe of some houses behind that so I have no idea 
what sort of coin this is. Okay guys, so there you have it. We do have uh, the unknown coins. There was a one cent coin and one foreign currency. I don't know what it is. Hopefully you guys can see the picture that I put up and, and get some sort of um, pattern of what it is. I can see a number two there, but I don't know what that coin is. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you want to come on more adventures with me and turn your notification bell on. Also, I have put that phone that I found in a container with some rice. So, fingers crossed we may be able to get it to, to turn on. I don't think so though, because it was under the mud. It was in some pretty hard packed mud when I found it, pretty deep. But it looks okay, it doesn't look too bad. So, I'll, uh, I'll let you know if that actually works. I'm Chris, Indoors Outdoors with Edgy. I'll see you guys on the next hunt.